Hi, I'm Oliver Collis and today I'm in Richmond at Old Deer Park where Adidas have put together a team of 10 international athletes to help promote Old Deer Park Run. So stay tuned, I'll be talking to as many people as I can and it's set to be a brilliant morning. How do you tackle a 5k? A 5k? Well, it's quite easier down here because it's obviously two laps, and so you know, go off quite steady for the first lap, push hard the second lap because you know exactly where you are on the course, so you'll be able to uh, get a good idea of sort of your pace judgment. Thing. And how do you deal with any discomfort during a race? Set yourself sort of little targets, you know, there'll be guys in front of you, guys behind you, you know, you might say to yourself, don't get caught by the guy behind me or you know focus on the guys in front and maybe try and catch them throughout throughout the race what do you like about the 5k distance <laughs> i'm a marathon runner. 5k for me is short on the track it's 12 and a half laps so you know you can really get down to exactly what pace you need to be running like the lap time is just click them off and it's you know three three point one miles it's got a nice ring to it three miles and then sprint at the end And how do you tackle a 5k? It depends how I feel on a day, really. I see what happens as I get around the course. What, what are the differences, apart from the obvious ones, between running a 1500 and a 5k? I find a 1500, for me, I can work more tactically, whereas a 5k, I just tend to just run. It's a bit more enjoyable, there's a bit less pressure, it's not really my distance, I can just get out and run, see how it goes as I get, get around the field. You're an 800 meter runner. What do you like about the 800 meter distance? I like the fact it's like a um, tactical, it's a sprint, and you've got to pace yourself. Like I think it's one of the hardest events, but I think it's one of the best events as well. You never really know what's going to happen. It's an open play. What do you like so much about running? The freedom, the places. Like without running, I wouldn't have visited half the places I've been to. So like I like the freedom of where it's taken me. Um, this an escape from what's going on as well. joined uh, by the Adidas Elite Runners today as a part of the Adidas Boost Finale, a part of the tour they've been touring the park runs across the country and they're here for the final run and they're all going to be running today so I just wanted to do a little intro, it's a great opportunity for you to take down some superstars alright? I'm just making my way over to the start of Old Deer Park Run. I'll be there with the action, trying to keep up with all the Olympians, and we'll see how it goes. This is about to begin. I bet it is a cracker. I'm actually just sprinting across the field to the other side so I can catch the people at the beginning but they're so quick I don't think I'm going to make it, I'm going to try my best but I've got to compete with a sub-15 okay, so I'll be there shortly hopefully I made it You can see how tired I am I'm trying to keep up with these guys. Here come the leaders. And as they come past, just look how far they are ahead. It's really, really quite astonishing. I'm looking in the distance. Third place is, he's got to be 400 meters away. He's taking it easy. Yeah, move on. The leaders are really in. It's going to be close to finish. What was you expecting that today? Uh, no, to be honest. There's some great runners like Andy turned up. No, it's just obviously in quite good shape. I saw you were uh, you're on his shoulder. Was that, was that tactics or? No, not at all. I was just trying to hang on. 
I would have helped him lead it if I could, but I was, I was just trying to hang on and I thought, thought it had me down going down the back by the river because I should pull it away, but I had a bit of speed in my legs. How did you find the course? Nice, the grass is nice. It's not a quick course, but a lovely place for a run. If you just want a good run out, it's perfect. Can we be coming back to park run? <laughs> I would think so. Thank you very much and congratulations. How do you find the course? It's off, it's a cross country course, it's um, all grass. I wouldn't expect it to be all grass, uh, but no, it, it was good, it was good, yeah. Neck and neck the whole way, how did yeah. it go tactically wise today? I was thinking I need to make sure I broke James by at least um, the last half mile because I ain't going out quick a uh, 330 or um, 1500 meter runner. So yeah, it was good though, it was good. Is it nice doing a, doing a short distance compared to your regular training? Yeah, um, I've been doing a lot of park runs. Um, last couple of weeks I've done um, South Manchester in Flatfields and uh, Woodburn Park in Stockport and then obviously today is uh, one of the flatter ones but, so it's good to mix it up and then to get out after this now and do a few more efforts and overall what do you think of the park run experience? I think park run's great, I think it's a brilliant phenomenon which has taken off in this country and across the world with the look of it um, I see people tweeting me or messaging me on Facebook about different park runs and come and have a go at this park run um, and it's got people running and people interested in keeping fit basically and, and it's brilliant Let's finish up with the ladies today, was it a good run out there today? Yeah, it was nice to do something kind of short today and um, to get the legs turned over a bit quicker and yeah, I'm really looking forward to my and uh, was it was this your first time at Park Run? Um, well, it's my first time at this one, but I've done the uh, Edinburgh one and Fallout Park in the I think it's just it's such a great idea, a brilliant initiative, and it's just so nice to see so many people out and taking part, and Amazing. hopefully it will uh, inspire a few people to do the more of it. So, 5k today, but you're taking a bit easy. Um, yeah, I met um, an eight and a half year old called Dan, who's travelled all the way from Darlington. Um, so I ran around with him today and yeah, just enjoyed the atmosphere. What's next for you? Um, well, I retired last April after the London Marathon, so this year is been a year of just um, kicking back and not having too much pressure race-wise and doing a lot less volume. Maybe in about six or seven years I want to do the UTMB and do some crazy ultras. I'm kind of done with elite running as fast as I can from point A to point B, but will always be involved in running because it's such a great sport. How was the event for you today? Brilliant, fantastic. You know, to see everybody here, so many Park Run t shirts and so many Marathon Talk t shirts, and just such great engagement with, and Adidas here with all the boost stuff. It's been breathtaking, really. You know, we're absolutely blown away by that, by how it's gone. Well, what advice would you give to someone who's uh, looking to start running this summer? Just do it, just, just do it. Turn up at a Park Run, meet people. If you have to walk all the way around, that's fine. You don't have to run, you can just walk and enjoy it and have a good time. And gradually you'll run a bit more and a bit more and a bit more and then get better and, and just just enjoy the community aspect of it and, and don't worry too much about the performance. What's next for you? Uh, what is next for me? It's a really good question. Well, I've actually got a week off after this, which I'm really looking forward to and I'm decorating my house, so that's going to be good and I'll be running at my local park run next Saturday in Harrogate. Here's the first one, random number generator. Two, two, seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a day and what an event. The sun is shining and the sky is blue. I got the chance to speak to Olympic athletes, Commonwealth athletes and of course Liz Yelling, two-time Olympic marathoner. There's a few clouds in the sky but it doesn't matter because it was one of the best park runs I've ever experienced. So if you're thinking about taking up running this summer, get down to your local shops and buy yourself a pair of running shoes. Because you never know, you might end up catching the running bug. And I tell you, it's a bug that's definitely worth catching.